everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video, and you're probably wondering, well, Brad, why the hell are the figures out of the packaging already? Probably because I reviewed them already, and apparently I lost every single bit of footage. Oh my god. Alright, so I get up early, Brad. I get up early. I literally woke up at like 2.30 a.m. because I wanted the review to be up early in the morning for you guys. I wanted to get the review up, so I wake up early. I spend two and a half hours getting everything set up. I do my review. I get ready. I get everything done. I I do my random shout out. Don't cross the line. Cut the camera off. Put the camera SD card inside of the computer and for some reason it's showing up files that I already deleted off the, off the camera. I was like, what the hell? Like It was my Cody review, my Kenny review, Elimination Chamber review, all of these things and I'm like I clearly remember going through my camera and deleting these things. Like I remember doing it. And then the footage I literally recorded like 12 different clips from this review from the Macho Man Edge review none of them there not a single one there and I guess I just needed to rant a little bit to get some anger out because it pissed me off Brad you wake up early like a good god I woke up at 2.30 a.m. and it did nothing there nothing not a single clip wasted my effing time I did the details I did the comparisons we went through all the ish I gave you the recommendations and here we are with nothing oh my god I guess I guess I'm going to do a short review now. So I guess let's pack everything up and we'll just skip the we'll skip the packaging and we'll dive straight into Edge's accessories. All right, guys, so jumping into Edge's accessories. We have an entrance coat. Now, this is kind of like the formality of the Ultimate Editions. You guys know that they usually give us an entrance jacket, and then they'll have the interchangeable jacket arms to go with the interchangeable bear arms, because you guys know everybody has a right to bear arms. So here is the Edge figure, and if you wanted to put this jacket on, you'll literally just pop the arms out like so, and then you will slide this nicely textured jacket. Now, it is rubber. I will say that is, you know, I'd much rather have cloth, but since it it is rubber. It looks good. It's got a ton of detail in it with stripes and stars and buckles and rated R logos and tons of texturing and stuff like that. So it is nice that it's not going to hinder articulation because we do have the jacket arms that are double jointed and they just plug in like so like every other Ultimate Edition. So that's pretty nice. It looks really good on the figure as well when they're not popping out and they don't really pop out easy. I just don't think it went in enough there. But that is what the figure looks like there. He also doesn't come with these hands. It's just what I use for the thumbnail. He comes with his you know, devil's horn hands or, or rock and roll hands or whatever you want to call those. And he also comes with mic holding hands. I just use this for the crazed head sculpt, you know, like he's running his fingers through his hair like back in the day, you know, when he used to get pissed off and spear people. And that's how I wanted to do after all my footage was deleted. Jesus Christ, I just... Yeah. This was me. This was me right here. One of the interchangeable head sculpts. This was a live look at MDT when he realized that all his footage got corrupted or deleted or whatever the hell happened. Nonetheless, I like this head sculpt. I think it looks just like Edge. I just don't know how I feel about the hair blowing back. I like it for a different thing, but it reminds me of the Jack's finishing line Edge. Like, this whole figure kind of looks like that figure. I think it was the finishing line. It, like, the, the tour, it's obviously just an updated version. It's a 2021 version of that figure, but there is the crazy head sculpt. I feel like I'm just gonna hair swap it with this, and I think, you know, that'd be really cool to see him, you know, crazed and yelling when, uh, you know, he just has his hair down like this or something. That would be really really cool, but that hairpiece is very long. It's got some good, you know, texturing to it and sculpt, and then you have the straight face that's looking there, and you guys can let me know what you think of it. I think it's okay. It kind of reminds me of Ben Affleck or something. I'm not exactly sure. I think I do like his Elite 83 just a tad bit better, which we'll bring in here, and you know, you'll get your three different expressions. You have smiling and happy. You got uh, just chilling, kind of bored, look, looking like, he, uh, I don't know, and then you got the crazed head sculpt, and uh, yeah. I like all three of them, though. I think all three of them are solid gives you a bunch of different options and I am going to do a hair swap on this more than likely if I can track down another one of these hair pieces maybe on the Elite 83 Chase variant I can get that figure remove the hair piece do all the bullshit and get everything going but that is pretty much it for your edge uh, accessories that you get with the figure so getting into the edge figure itself guys we already took a look at the head sculpt and everything but going down into the torso now this is something that a lot of people don't like this is the torso we got with the Demon Finn Balor except it doesn't have the body paint and then it's also the torso I'm pretty sure sure that we got with our HBK, except it doesn't have chest or stomach hair, which I think this figure would have benefited from greatly, because you guys can clearly see the chest and stomach hair right here. It's on the packaging. I, I can see you, man. Night goggles. I, I can see your chest hair right here, and your figure doesn't have it. Now, I think that a, a 
elite Cesaro torso like I'm gonna, you know, like my Elite 83 fix-up has, I think would look a lot better on this figure, and we will see that probably. I'm definitely probably gonna do that because I, I just, I don't like this, man. You can't really pose it around and everything, and it's a little bit too skinny, honestly, for this edge. I feel like edge is much more broad than this. You do have the gauntlets here. I do have a little bit of paint seepage right there. His elbow pads also have the black circles on there that they left off on the Elite. The double jointed arms are undefeated. I do have a little black piece on the, uh, I almost said purple, on the maroon or the dark red crotch right there, so I gotta see if I can get that off. I love this attire. It is his Royal Rumble return attire. This moment was great. I'm very happy to have this in replicated figure form. I do have a reaction to his actual return on the channel, a live feed of me reacting to that moment in real time. Edge being one of my favorites of all time. That was an epic moment for me as a wrestling fan. I'll never forget. This is well. Is it gonna be? Rated R knee pads look good, graphics look good, and then on the kick pads, this is kind of bummerific, but since they use this same formula for Edge every single time, he does have the Ultimate Edition feet, but the graphic gets cut off because they always use these kick pads, this kick pad mold for Edge. It's like the Seth Rollins style instead of the AJ Styles, you know, AJ Styles style, so that's why it does get cut off right there, so that may bother you, but that's pretty much it for the Edge figure, though, man. I mean, not much else to say. Uh, I just don't like the Ultimate Edition torsos, man. You just, you get some backage, obviously. So you can lean back, but the lean forward is just not doing it for me. And you know, AEW figures look like this, but this being soft material and fitting inside that crotch allows for a much better, you know, ab crunch and being able to lean over there. But that pretty much does it for your Edge figure. So for your Edge Ultimate Edition 8 comparisons, guys, God, this makes me sick doing this twice. But here we go, Ultimate Edition Series 8 in the middle compared to the ringside exclusive Edge, which I like for a throwback Edge. This is my favorite Edge head sculpt. Hopefully we get some better throwback Edge head sculpts uh, because, you know, we have great older ones now or you know more fresh more recent edge figures which we do have the elite 83 over here and i love this torso with the chest hair and stuff this torso obviously doesn't have the chest hair and stuff which did bother me i am going to torso switch it more, more than likely it'll have double jointed arms it'll have the nice elite chest and everything and i honestly feel like i might do a hair swap i probably mentioned that in the accessories portion of the video already but i think if we can get that going i feel like it will be a pretty damn good football day nonetheless i'm sure uh, I, I gotta track down that chase variant elite 83 that is something i gotta try down but if you guys want to see what the ultimate edition series 8 looks like up next to the partner and or rival of edge here's the a randy orton elite figure and it's compared to the ultimate edition series 8 and you guys can see how those scale and stuff i'm sure we'll probably end up getting a randy orton ultimate edition down the line but there is your ultimate edition series 8 edge figure comparisons and everything and yeah you get you get the idea which head sculpt do you guys like better let me know down in the comment section below now this being the second in-depth time that i've covered these accessories Series, I'm going to try and maintain some sort of enthusiasm and not want to rip my own eyebrows off and eat them like scrambled eggs. Nonetheless, guys, getting into the accessories, we have this white jacket that we have seen with quite a few macho men. You know, we've seen it with the Defining Moments. We've seen it with the SDCC exclusive, and it's probably not going to be the last jacket we get. you got the fringe here in the green. The white jacket does look really good. you got, oh yeah, right there on the collar. Got a cup of coffee. Gonna eat my coffee or drink the coffee. You don't eat coffee but I don't want to spill the coffee on my white jacket and I'm just going to shut the hell up now. You got the right stripes on the back. Kind of reminds me of like an evil Knievel jacket going on. Macho Man graphic on the back. Oh yeah, coffee. On the back of the jacket there in the black and green. Fits the figure well. I don't know. I had this on the figure in the in the, in the the first time around. I don't know if I'll put it in the second go around, but uh, yeah. It fits the figure really well. It kind of hinders the articulation a little bit when moving the arms around, but it's definitely better than a rubber jacket. So we'll definitely take that. Next up, with the Ultimate Editions, we do get two interchangeable head sculpts. Now, this one is the better, in my opinion. You got the more determined, pissed-off Macho Man, and then you got the creepy, smiley one that's kind of looking up and looking kind of like, I don't know if my eyes are misprinted or something. I don't think so. It's just kind of hard to see with the shadows and stuff, but this one isn't as good as this. I really enjoy this head sculpt right here. This is nice to see. The glasses fit not only those, but uh, it fits both of them, so you don't have to worry about that. You got the glasses in the green with the black, and oh, yeah. Oh yeah, gonna 
Lucky in the figure four leg lock. Leg lock. Leg. Sorry, I had to see that. You also have the hat that looks good. It's like a little five gallon hat. It does have the nice stuff coming off the back. I don't know if we've gotten this before. I don't think we've seen this sculpt before, but the greens look good and you got some nice texturing going on with the green hat. It almost kind of looks translucent at a, at a certain angle, but I don't think it is. And then, of course, you do have your interchangeable you can't see me hands with white tape slash entrance hands. And then you have the mic holding hands that make the world go freaking round. Now getting into Macho Man, guys, we did take a look at this head sculpt. I definitely like the determined head sculpt over the smiley, creepy head sculpt. But going out in this torso, I do like this torso. You know, it's not completely accurate. Like on the back of the packaging, you'll notice like on the sides right here, it's clearly missing and like the two sides of the shirt tie together, but they didn't do that. They did like these tassels here, which is pretty cool. It's got the sculpt on the lower part. This is a really cool feature. It's like these shoulder covers that are on a butterfly joint along with the shoulder piece. So that doesn't hinder articulation. It doesn't pop off or anything, so that is pretty cool. Everything like that, that's a pretty cool mechanism that they have completed for it. He is not on ball joints, but he feels really good in the hand, man. Like, the articulation of this guy is one thing that I really, really enjoy. It just feels really good in the hand. I feel like it is missing some details on the pink stripes. Like, there's supposed to be some lighter pinks and stuff like that going through here that I feel like we're missing out on, especially just throughout those stripes, man. The bolt colors look great. The pink and black looks great. White wrist tape, double jointed arms with the veins on there white hand tape and then his boots here I feel like this is new but they did sculpt the stuff back here I know in the past we've seen it where they paint on that but this is actually sculpted with the volt and the green he does have the ultimate edition boots with the white tall style like macho man wore but this figure just it's kind of crazy and hard to explain but if you guys have ever ever heard me say it feels good in the hand and then purchased the figure yourself and then found out that it does indeed feel good in the hand then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when handling this figure but I don't know it's just kind of odd I'm enjoying the macho man a lot more than I thought I would when I first got it. Now, would I pay just astronomical prices for it? Probably not, but the way these Ultimate Editions shoot up, it's kind of ridiculous, but that is your Ultimate Edition Macho Man Randy Savage. And then for your Macho Man figure comparisons, guys, here is the Ultimate Edition Macho Man up next to the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Slim Jim Macho Man, the Royal Rumble Target exclusive Macho Man, and then the GameStop Greg Retroverse Game and Stay Into the Spider-Verse Macho Man over here. And you guys can see one thing that makes Macho Man figures really awesome is that, you know, they, they're so colorful, and when you have the headgear and the glasses and the jackets and the glasses jacket shirt, call me glasses jacket shirt man, when you have all those different things on display like that, and you know, you set them up nice and everything. They can really come together, and you guys know they love to punch out the Macho Man figure, so seeing them in colorful attire and stuff, it is really awesome, but I will say, I feel like if this had an elite torso on it, it would be great. I like the functionality of the, you know, the butterfly joints, and obviously the double-jointed arms are game-changer. Once we get elites with the double-jointed arms, it's gonna be OVO, no doubt, but this figure feels really damn good in the hand. I feel like it feels better than every other Macho Man in the hand, but I do like the Slim Jim figure. I don't know if this one can be de defeated, man. This one right here is undefeated. Slim Jim, Macho Man, don't get in a fight with that one, Brad. You will lose. So that pretty much wraps up the 2-in-1 Ultimate Edition Series 8 review, guys. Again, I apologize for the craziness at the beginning of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that little rant at the beginning, but oh, that was frustrating. That was definitely frustrating, but overall thoughts on it, I feel like you may want to pick up the Elite 83 Edge over the Ultimate Edition. I could be wrong about that. You guys may not, uh, you know, you may like the Ultimate Edition more. I honestly feel like the Elite 83 may be a little bit better. And then for Macho Man, if you guys have never owned a Macho Man, this one feels really good in the hand like I stated before, so you may want to track this one down. I don't know how much you want to pay for it, and you know this won't be the last Ultimate Edition Macho Man we get. I have a feeling we're going to get one more for sure Ultimate Edition Macho Man, and you know they're going to be pumping them out, man. You guys know death, taxes, Mattel printing out Ultimate Warrior and Macho Man figures, so there you go, but if you guys would like to order these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Makes me sick, man. I literally I had jokes plugged in the video. I had like memes plugged in the video. I don't even remember what the hell I said now because it's all gone. It's just down the drain, gone forever. Gone. Bye bye. Woo. See ya. If you get the reference there. Oh man, that fires me up, man. Oh, wasted time. Wasted. Anyways, guys, random shout out is going to go to JLR84. He says, Warning, the Cody Rhodes weight belt actually stains the figure. So be careful when displaying the figure with his accessories. Referring to the AEW series number four, Cody with the black weight belt. Apparently, it does stain the lower part of the figure, so you may want to be careful. So, a huge shout-out to that guy for making us aware of that issue and everything like that. I had seen some stuff on Instagram and stuff, you know, to uh, prepare us for that moment and everything like that. But I guess... 
I'm getting the hell out of here now, finally, guys, after sitting down and doing two reviews now, or four reviews, if you double the two different figures twice. Anyways, uh, I appreciate you guys checking it out anyways. Don't cross the line or do, or I, I don't give a shit. I'll tell you this, the damn camera crossed the line this time, Brad. I had to snap its neck. I think you're going to wind up with a snap neck from the jaws. Oh, yeah! Watch the flying elbow drop off the top rope. Not only beat people one, two, three, but I hurt them real bad. I am. I am real bad. I am boy real eerie. Woo boy, I tell you. Anyways, thank you for watching. Subscribe and don't cross the line or I, I'm going to rage my ass off.